What's up everybody? Workhorse Fitness and Training. I started a campaign on Teespring. I chose to donate half the profits to the Boys and Girls Club of America. And you know, I'm not sure exactly what the Boys and Girls Club have going on nowadays. It's been you know, a little while since I've been around a little bit of anything. So, we're gonna find out. Alright everybody, we're gonna call the Boys and Girls Club, see if we can go up there and talk to somebody. Maybe get a feel, an idea of what exactly, you know, is being provided, what, what kind of stuff we'll be able to do for the old kiddos. Hi, my name is Jose Oriana. I'm with Workhorse Fitness and Training. I'm running a campaign on Teespring and I'm donating half the profits to the Boys and Girls Club of America. I just, okay. I just wanted to know what kind of uh, programs y'all got going and you know, like what, what's exactly going on over there. I'm, I'm shooting some, like a documentary video and uh, just trying to let everybody know that's gonna donate what the Boys and Girls Club are doing. Okay, thank you. I know for me personally, it was when I quit athletics my junior year of high school that led to my downward spiral that, you know, I went to prison. What the Boys and Girls Club offer, you know, the, any type of aftercare program where young individuals can go to stay busy and not have the time to think about that, that party lifestyle, you know, just not do anything productive. That's when I found I lost my direction. You know, it just, it just became a downward spiral. Teespring campaign, I got some workhorse fitness and training, just, you know, apparel and gear. If you want to support the, the journey and, you know, the Boys and Girls Club, we'd really appreciate it. So I think I'm probably automatically disqualified for being a felon. They are gonna do some type of background check, I'm sure. Which is fine, I might not be able to do it, but my buddy is running self-defense courses and anti-bullying campaign type things at some of the local elementary schools around here. And I know, you know he's a great guy, he, he'll get in here easy and you know, we'll be able to make a difference that way. To actually go up there and talk to, would I talk to somebody would've been really cool. But I don't know, I think, you know, just me and my situation, it, it might not happen. Shout out to the Ultra Trail Running and Dorba Fitness pages, the Diggy Diggy Fitness family. You know, I really do appreciate all the love everybody's shown. It's, it's keeping the motivation for all this high. You know, with everybody watching, you know, it's, it's a sense of accountability to know that I have to keep pushing, I have to keep trying, I gotta find any angle to, you know, create a positive impact while I'm, you know, in this journey of mine. Oh, I will be at the Dorba meeting this weekend uh, at River Legacy. I believe it starts at 9 o'clock. I'm probably not going to do the trail ride. I, I went down last week on Tuesday at, uh, at River Legacy. Actually, I slammed on my shoulder pretty good. I went to the doctor yesterday. They said there's uh, no no dislocation, no nothing's broken, but there is some severe bruising. It's all right. A little bit of time. If you like the videos, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You know, we're going to be creating some big impacts coming up soon. Stay tuned for all that. But we'll see y'all out there. Y'all have a good one.